All right, let me show you what this is here. I know this looks confusing. Um, this is a picture of we're standing inside of a house. We're looking out our back, looking out our back door. And that's what this is. We're inside the house. We're looking out. Here's a French door. Here's a French door that's open. It's hard to tell, I know. But that's what this is. This is a vertical painting today, which I typically don't like to do, but you have to do them sometimes. And this is, this is one of them times. Um, so what I'm going to work, I got to do the, the stuff that is outside first before I do anything on the inside. This is a mountain right here. <clears throat> I'm just going to brush it in. I'm just, I went ahead and did this blue because it was very slow. There's nothing, not much here. That's our sky. I went ahead and done that just to get it out of the way. So I wouldn't bore you to death with it. But yeah, this is, I thought this was kind of interesting. You know, it's different. That's what I always tell you. That's what we try to do stuff that's different. And I'm serious. <laughs> we try to do things that are different. You know, we don't want to do the same thing everybody else does. We'd be just like everybody else then, right? Got to do things a little odd sometimes. Not odd, just different. Yeah, you know, I, I wouldn't say odd. I'd just say different. Um, I'm going to work on this for a couple minutes, and then I'm going to do something else here real quick. Because all we're doing here, I can do this off camera. I'm just, this is the mountain. Here's water. There's water right there. All I'm going to get done today is putting some color on the canvas because I got to go kind of slow, especially around this door. Um, and it's just a lot of slow moving brushwork. Slow moving brushwork. So just getting color on the canvas t today would be a good achievement for me. Tell you what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and do something a little somewhat exciting. I'm going to do and do this grass. Um, let me find me another brush. Okay, I think this had some green on it. I think I'm going to raise this up a little higher. And that can this can be our land right here. At least I think, maybe even a little higher than that. Let's start with some cad yellow light. Now this is I don't I don't really have room to do my take my one inch brush I don't think, and do what I normally do. So I'm gonna have to just blend it by use a brush and blend it. I think today this painting's different. Take some sap green, throw some green in. Green, 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 green. Let's take some, oh goodness, I don't have any Prussian blue out. Boy, it stinks. I thought I did. So let's take some phthalo blue, mix it with some black. Let's see, that's, that's dark. This is just our base coat anyway. I can, I can go over this and fix it. No big deal. But you want it darker. The closer it gets, the darker you want it. Okay, let me set this down. And I'm just going to mix this up. Just like I normally do. Just mix it all up. Like I said, there ain't much here today. This is, mo this is mostly slow work, to be quite honest. A lot of this is. But I think it's an interesting painting. Just slow work. Lots of brushwork. Slow brushwork. But you get the general idea. I'm just going to fill this in and I'll bring you back and then we'll stomp some grass in here real quick. And we'll finish this and this and I'll be right back. All right. <clears throat> I've been working on the water a little bit, worked on this a little bit. Still got to put a little bit of grass in here. And I'm going to run a branch or something. I may, I don't, I don't know what I'll do yet. <laughs> We're just going to wing it. We're just going to see what happens. 
Um, like I said, I do have a picture that I'm looking at up here. Um, I think I might. Uh, let's try to put a. Let's try to put a tree right in there. Let's see. It's kind of coming across the painting. Kind of coming across. Uh, let me switch brushes here. This brush might be too big. Good for the trunk, not good for anything else. Uh, let's see. Let's. Let's see, there's a branch coming across through here. Maybe sticking down in there. You know, you just gotta use your imagination. We're just like I said, we're just kinda, we wing things sometimes. Probably has something coming down like so. Let's see what number this is. One or two's brush. It's a two. Let me get a one. Something even smaller. Wipe it off. I've been painting earlier today. Of course. Uh, let's take a. This is a smaller brush. Put a few little things sticking around here. A few little branches here and there. We're going to have leaves on this, so it's okay. A lot of this stuff will be covered. But you got to have something like branches anyways, right? Whether it's covered or not. That's probably close to being good. Probably close. Okay. Let's put one right here. A branch right here and one or two protruding from it and that's probably good maybe one more right here can't hardly stop can I okay I think it's probably good Probably good. Now, let's throw some leaves on there. Okay, let's take some green. Let's just, before I do put any highlights on this tree, let's just throw some leaves here and there. Let's take some green, mix it with a little black. You know, we don't have to overload this tree with leaves or anything. We're just throwing some stuff in here. Don't have to be overloaded. Black sap green. Black and sap green. All right. 
Yeah, I think I'll put some highlights on after I put the leaves on this case, I believe that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take some burnt umber. I think I should have made this a little wider right here. Okay. I just use the same brush. <laughs> same brush for everything. Um, the sun is coming down this way today. In case you were asking. So we're just going to throw some little bit of yellow in here. Yellow. I better not say yellow. I already have a bad enough accent. I'm just going to throw some in here. Just where we think we need it. I mean, you know, that's all you can do. Just put it where you think you need it. We know the direction of the light. And that's really the main thing. <coughs> Just flop it in there, so to speak. Cad yellow light. This is pure cad yellow light. Pure cad yellow light. Let's stand back and look. I was hoping this would mix and be, and be my mid-tone. That was what I was shooting for. because I didn't put a mid-tone on this. And I figured if I touch this darker paint, that it would kind of give me a mid-tone. And it kind of is, but mm, yeah, it is. <laughs> It's okay. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. Let's try some a little bit more cad yellow light. Let me just throw a few, a few real light ones here and there. Just for good measure. Just for good measure to see what happens. That's probably okay. I'd say that's probably okay. I'm going to go ahead and hit this tree here in a minute. And then we're going to put some collar. Well, I got to do the grass. And then we're going to put some collar around this. Get one coat on anyway. All right, well, it's time. I got some, put my grass in. It's time to start trimming. It's time to start putting some stuff on the inside of our, of our room. We're looking out. That's what we're supposed to be doing, looking out. Looking out at the lake. Um, I have an angled brush. It's not a very good brush. Gotta be honest with you. But we're gonna do what we can. And I mixed up sort of a tan color. This is burnt umber, white, got some ochre in it. And, you know, <laughs> just a tan color. And we're just going to try our best to work with this piece of junk brush I have. Gives us good practice to it. This is going to be our first coat. We'll have to go over this several times, like we always do. You have to layer your paint. We've got to go kind of slow right now. And I just put this grass in, so this is going to all be all mixed up and stuff like that. That's okay, though. We can go quicker once we do our trim. 
But that's what we're doing now. Trimming it out. I figured I'd do the slow stuff to start with while I have the energy and then I get to the easier stuff, I'll be ready to go. That's my thought anyway. But just using this tan color for the inside for our first round. Just takes a little time, don't it? Just takes a little bit of time. Okay, guys, I'm just going to keep going. That, this is really all I'm doing. I'm just, just doing, just filling in. And I'm going to get some paint on this, and then I'll bring you back. All right, we're still working on this painting here. Paintings like this take a long time. I mean, they're, they're kind of slow, so there's not a lot of action for, for you to watch. So I'm just kind of put putting my way through this thing. I'm putting some boards down here. The light is coming right here. This is dark. This is the light. The light is coming down this way. <clears throat> and I am, I can't tilt my palette too much. I am mixing my paint with linseed oil today because I'm using a... I bought this brush yesterday. It's a flat brush. I, I always have trouble keeping flat brushes if I buy them just for oil paint because they're real stiff and they build up paint. Even though I clean them, they still build up with paint. So I'm, I'm going to try this brush and I'm thinning my paint down a little bit just to see how it's going to work. So far, I think it's, it's okay. So let's make our boards a little darker here. Let's take some burnt umber burnt sienna let's see what this color this gives us that's pretty dark in it almost too dark to see but that's it was already dark to begin with yeah i think i'll use a little more sienna in this it's kind of an orangish tone uh, let me take a look here at my picture okay i need to redo these boards i can see that already I got the other boards in the wrong spot and that's okay because our paint's still wet and we can fix it. But this is just a really slow process. <laughs> and this is a vertical painting too and I don't care much of vertical paints but man I just everything I seem to find to paint it's it seems like it's vertical and you know Sometimes you just have to do it. Some paintings just call for a vertical appearance. And this would be one of them. Yeah, I'm using a lot of burnt sienna right here. There's my lens seed oils in this pile right here. And it definitely thins your paint down. Better than using paint thinner, that's not good, in my opinion. I don't like it's not good for you. How about if I say it that way? Linseed oil is a little better. But I'm just gonna keep chugging along on this. Hopefully we make some headway today. And I'm just gonna do a little bit more and I'll bring you back. All right. We have to put a little more excitement into this painting. I've got a pot hanging basket here. I'm putting a, a, a dock out here. Another pot of flowers there. Just for excitement. I'm going to use some sap, some Prussian blue, and a touch of black. And we're going to whip in some flowers here. I want these to come down. I want them to catch a little light if I can. I think that would make it look good. Have them kind of swing out a little bit. I like to use light and shadows whenever I can. I just put these this pot in here a while ago. This is still a little wet, but that's okay. 
Now, let's see what we want to do here. Let's lighten it up a little bit. Let's take some sap green, some yellow. Let's put some, let's put our mid-tone on it. Put a mid-tone. Sap green and a yellow. And I'm just flipping it back and forth like you would do a tree leaf. So this is this is shadowy right here. This is in the shadow. So that's okay there. Let's take a little pure cad yellow light. Let's see if we can't uh, Let's see, see if the sun's touching any of this. I guess it is right there. And that's probably pretty good right there. I mean, I can't do too much. I can make this. I almost wish I hadn't have stuck this right here because <laughs> it's kind of blending with it, and you can't tell what's what. Some a little. I mean, you can, but you kind of have to look a card at it. I think that's probably okay there. Let me bring this side down a little bit more, make it look more uniform. Uh, not too uniform, but a little. You don't want things too uniform. You really don't want things uniform at all. I see one's down further than the other one, so that's good. I like that. That's a good that's a good hanging basket there. All right, folks, it looks like a wrap. I think it turned out pretty good. I, I kind of like it, especially like these plants I added. Got some light right here that's shining through the crack of the door. It's the little things that count. <laughs> hey, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe for more future videos. And thanks for watching.